so I thought I'd give you a little overview of what happens when you depopulate power boards, computer, printed circuit boards, and other electronic devices that have some type of uh, logic board on it. <clears throat> so this is a combination of uh, a few TV parts, but mostly uh, computer motherboards and peripheral boards, slot cards, and so on. So I will get my pointer here because you want to be able to see what I'm pointing at. So I'll start with some of the smaller things. Here we have uh, piezoelectric uh, synthetic crystal oscillators and uh, ceramic oscillators so here I, I cut this one open and you can see the little tiny oscillator right there it's a synthetic quartz crystal oscillates at a certain rate for timing and so on and these are some ceramic wafer oscillators these are also little crystals so when, when you cut it open, you have this cool little um, metal canister that you could use for various things. And okay, so here are the size ranges. So you have capacitors all the way down, the little tiny ones. These come shrink wrapped with a plastic you can take off. Then you have these uh, wafer uh, resistors, I think, um, different sizes. Then you have your integrated circuits, your MOS sets, which are um, the things that connect to the heat sinks. Uh, you have all these type of resistors. Look at how tiny things get. You got these resistors and these ones all the way down to super tiny. You have various integrated circuits, other uh, little square doodads. Um, you have various coils, these are magnetic with copper. You have various transformers uh, those are TV transformers here the ones on the top these are microwave ones these are very heavy you have um, micro switches I'm not sure what that thing is or this thing um, this is just a piece of rubber you might find as an insulator and then these are relays here I'll show you, you can take the top off these and inside is the relay, which looks like this. There's the top for one of the bigger ones here. So you have these ferrite loops where they put into loop uh, wire. Of course, buttons and keypads. You have little uh, metal boxes, including these little tiny ones here. How small that one is um, then you have your your flat heat sinks which are aluminum different sizes all the way down little tiny ones then you have your extruded aluminum which is the highest grade aluminum and um, there's a whole box of those heat sinks um, yeah, this is a uh, thing that connects to the back of a pitcher tube, which I always think is cool for a radar dish. These are on uh, computer power cords. They're loopers. These are the things that hold the main, main CPU chip in. These are some of the various chips. These are ceramic items. And... Yeah, you can end up with uh, a whole bunch of fuses and switches, 
Got all sorts of fuses in there. And this, that is my lens cap bouncing around. Uh, this is kind of cool. This is a copper tape. <clears throat> so, you can imagine uh, using this for action figure uh, dioramas and, and customs. These could be pouches. Um, like I said, these these little metal containers, desk items, laboratory items. So basically, oh, you, you end up with housings too, steel housings, and depending on how how small you want your stuff. I mean, there's a lot of little tiny things on a circuit board. Uh, so what I do is I take off the large things, which are the the capacitors and the heat sinks. Uh, then I work my way down to the smaller items. That way you can get your various size snips in to cut the uh, lead wires. So there you go. Here's some, here's a couple small little uh, circuits. So, uh, yeah, who is going to do all this? Well, someone who's interested in diorama fodder. I certainly am one of those. Says some compulsive people that take things apart like this. So there you go. Here's, here's a supply of uh, various resistors and little tiny capacitors and so on. So, that's what I have for you today. Enjoy. I'm out.